Hello there children, how are you all doing today? It's a really, really beautiful day here. I don't know what it's like where you are, but it's been really, really lovely. Um, I'm just getting ready to put my children to bed at the end of the day. Um, and I just thought it might be nice to read a little story. Um, this story I'm going to read to you today is called The Fidgety Itch. And it's a, a book that I was sent by some relatives that live in New Zealand, um, which is the other side of the world. Uh, and they thought my children might really enjoy it, and they did. They thought it was really, really funny. So I'm going to read it to you, and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Okay? Down beneath the frou-frou trees, Timkin was gleefully gobbling his cheese when something began to bother his knees. Twas only a niggle, the teeniest titch, but that fidgety feeling grew into an itch. Oh, cried tiny Timkin, I've got an itch, a terrible twitch that naggles and niggles like fleas with the giggles. It's really a frightfully feverish patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? Feather McDo was cruising the sky. She flew straight down on hearing the cry. Don't worry, she said. I'll scratch your scritch. And so she did. Feather tweezed Timkin's knees while Timkin gleefully gobbled his cheese beneath the frou frou trees. But soon came a niggledy, fidgety feeling. Oh, cried Feather McDo, I've got an itch, a terrible twitch that jiggles and tickles like porcupine prickles. A poutingly, peevishly, pepperish patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? Possum Pie was licking his thumb, savouring a frou-frou plum. Don't worry, he said. I'll scratch your scritch. And so he did. Possum scratched Feather's back. Feather tweezed Timkin's knees. And Timkin gleefully gobbled his cheese beneath the frou-frou trees. But soon came a niggledy fidgety feeling. <clears throat> oh, cried Possum Pie, I've got an itch, a terrible twitch. My tail is all tweezy and feathery sneezy. A dreadfully dynamite devilish patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? Hedgehog was sniffling and snuffling a snail. He heard Possum cry for a scratch of his tail. Don't worry, he said. I'll scratch your scritch. And so he did. Hedgehog trailed Possum's tail. Possum scratched Feather's back. Feather tweezed Timkin's knees. And Timkin gleefully gobbled his cheese beneath the frou-frou trees. But soon came a niggledy, Fidgety feeling. Oh, cried Hedgehog. I've got an itch, a terrible twitch that woozes my toes like nobody knows. A totally teasingly ticklish patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? Just at that moment, Fuzzy O'Hare came swanning and swaggering, hopping with flair. Don't worry, he said. I'll scratch your scritch. And so he did. Fuzzy tweezed Hedgehog's feet. Hedgehog trailed Possum's tail. Possum scratched Feather's back. Feather tweezed Timkin's knees. And Timkin gleefully gobbled his cheese beneath the fruit fruit trees. But soon a fidgety feeling niggled. Oh, cried Fuzzy O'Hare. I've got an itch, a terrible twitch, a bubbly, fizzly, twizzlingly, twizzly, 
horribly hifflish, howlish patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? But all was quiet. Nobody hopped or swung from the trees or sniffled and snuffled or blew on the breeze to scratch poor Fuzzy's itch. And so that fidgety itch just grew till Fuzzy cried out, Oh, what can I do? I'm sure to explode at a feverish pitch. Oh, please, can somebody scratch my itch? Just then, there came a teensy sound as Timkin dropped his cheese on the ground. I'm sure if I can reach, we can shuffle around. And so they did. Then Timkin switch, switched Fuzzy's itch. Fuzzy tweaked Hedgehog's feet. Hedgehog trailed Possum's tail. Possum scratched Feather's back. And Feather tweezed Timkin's knees beneath the fruit fruit trees. And ah, the animal sighed. At last their itch was satisfied. Then all the friends disperse with ease. So Timkin went as quick as you please. Back to gleefully gobbling his cheese beneath the free free trees. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that. My cat came in halfway through, so I was trying to concentrate on reading the story to you. Um I hope you've all had a lovely day and we will be doing lots of more stories and lots of other things as time goes on. If you've got any special requests, then please do let us know. Um, I will speak to you again really soon and look forward to hearing what you've all been up to. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.